How important is CETA for the EU? Uh, the CETA is quite important for us. Trade is one of our priorities. In the section for external relations, for this mandate, trade is one of utmost priorities. That's why we uh, paid so much attention on CETA. And today we are very happy that we have the guest, the Canadian Ambassador, Mr. Costello, at our section meeting. Why it's important? As the uh, Ambassador said, trade is not only love, it's mainly interests of the countries. So it's important because it's recently negotiated agreement which is giving us a lot of benefits, mainly the access to Canadian market, which is also a quite pretty big market. Also, 99% of the tariffs will be removed upon implementation. It's, it's very good news for all our uh, members, I mean, from coming from the private business, from trade unions, and also from the third sector, farmers, consumers, environmentalists, for all our society. And we should not forget that 23% of the trade between EU and Canada will be will grow with 23% the trade it's quite important there has been a lot of uh, discontent from some quarters complaining about how uh, CETA and TTIP may affect things like environmental regulations workers regulations are you satisfied that those regulations that are made in the public interest are protected uh, I think we are, that's why we are presenting civil society here in the European Union. Our committee is firmly supporting and strongly supporting the protection of all the standards, never mind whether they're coming from the environmental sector, labor sector or the food sector. And of course for CETA we are very satisfied that all uh, the standards are European, high European standards are going to be followed and implemented. So we hope that this is also going to be uh, taken into consideration in TTIP one day. For us, it's the most important. And we here today, we have the reassurance of the chief negotiator for the European Union, Mr. Barcero, that really all our requests for high European standards are going to be followed and implemented on TTIP. This is, in fact, the first, the first priority we are lobbying for as civil society. Otherwise. Uh, I think TTIP will going to lose its credentials and uh, also uh, the belief of ordinary people in TTIP. But yes, for us, it's the main priority to follow all the standards and protection of all standards we already so many we years are protecting in the European Union. There are a lot of voices, a lot of strident voices that have spoken out against globalization. It seems to be that there is public discontent that they are somehow not benefiting from the increase in trade and trade agreements. How can you reassure the public that it is in their interest to support this agreement? It's difficult to, to in fact, to reassure. The, the best possible approach is to include, to include as much as possible the involvement of civil society, of all the voices, to hear them and to answer them properly, and also to protect in the best possible way uh, their, uh, their interests. And we should not forget that with or without TTIP, excellent trade relations with the United States are a must for the European Union.